a little bit about scales and arpeggios. Uh, scales are built one to eight, any key, but every key has its own, um, its own flavor, and like the flavor of C is, it has no sharps or flats. Every key signature has its own characteristic. Key of D has two sharps, F and C. Now how do I know that? That's just something that I know, and you can use and Google that. It's part of learning music theory. It's part of learning uh, the different characteristics of every key. So I've listed probably the ones I use the most of, and you can see that like F has one flat, B flat has two flats, and G has one sharp. So, now off of that, yes, you can practice those scales, and I think that's a great thing to do. Practice those on your steel drum, see if you can get two octaves out of it, see if you can go another octave, higher notes. Uh, but also, it's good to know the arpeggios, and arpeggios are built like this. One, three, five. You go to any key, let's go to C. I can take the first one, third one, and the fifth one. That's a C arpeggio. C, E, and G. Okay, now let's go to the, the let's go to build one on the two which is, on, in this case, would be D. D is the two, okay? One, three, five. I have D, F, and A. So you can understand how that would be an effective tool. Why do they use uh, upper and lower um, numbers, numerals? I don't know. But this stands for, upper stands for major, lower stands for minor. Now that, that's a little bit more into music theory. Basically, uh, major is a happy sound. Here's the C, E, G. Here's the DFA, it's a minor chord. Here's the E. I'm just building one, three, five on every note. I go one, three, five, one, three, five. Or I also call this the skip, skip, skip. D, F, sharp, and A. This one, skip that one. This one, skip that one. If you want to think of it that way. So on arpeggios and scales, very effective to know those because music is all built on those. If you want to improv on stuff, scales and arpeggios are just really handy. They make you sound like you know what you're doing. And one more thing on the arpeggios, if you want to go one more and build a 1-7 chord, you use the 1-3-5-7. That's why they call it a 1-7 chord. Okay, so let's go to 1, skip, 3, skip, 5, skip, 7. So now you have your 7 chord. Sometimes in music you'll see that, and that's what that stands for. So. Let's use, uh, let's do a scale on C. Now I have the low D pan again, so this is, this is my lowest note. Most of the drums, they have a C right here, but my C is, I don't have the low C, so here's the D. Now I'm going to do uh, the D scale, or the D, uh, I guess it'd be the number two in the key of C. So I'm going to go D, uh, E, F, I'm going to start here. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then back to D. So here's what that sounds like. I'm going to go up another scale. Okay, now I'm going to start on E and do that scale, but I'm still in the key of C, so I use this, the top pattern. That's what scale I'm in. There it is again. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Start on F. And these have different, uh, different sounds to them, and they're also called modes, but I don't want to get too much into that. But uh, if I were doing scales uh, in a song, I might use arpeggios too. Uh, here's the D arpeggio. Sorry. I did. I outlined D F A D F A. Just went up higher. So let's say that the scale uh, was a D minor chord. I would use the D minor arpeggio. So and I can embellish on that, or I can do a turn on that. Did a little bit of a turn there at the top. I went from A to B flat. B e, F A D F, and I went up to B flat and came right back down. Do it real fast. It sounds cool. Blue scales. Uh, you can also use those. We'll talk about that another time. But that's sort of a background of arpeggios and scales.